Hi folks and welcome to today's video. How to mine Satika on a long haul flight. Now, I am on a plane today and if you're out there suffering with low back pain issues such as Satika, nerve pain, hernia, disc pain, lumbar cirrhosis, etc. Hit that subscribe button to be notified when I make some great content uploaded to get back on the road to recovery. However, without further ado, let's get into today's video. So I want to talk quickly about eight important things you can do if you're suffering from sciatica and you need to take a long flight. Number one is choosing your seat, okay? If I have sciatica in my left leg, I'm going to choose an aisle seat where my left leg can be put into the aisle, I can move it around for the best position possible. That's going to help me survive that long haul flight. Next is on the flight, you can use pillows, blankets, etc. Put your spine in a good position to make it much more erect, not so flexed, which should take some stress off that Sanica nerve. One thing you can do as well when you do have that aisle seat is a gentle nerve glide exercise. So we're just going to pull the leg back here. This is the start position. I'm going to go forwards, bring the toe towards me, bring the heel back in, out, toe towards me, heel back in, out, toe towards me. So you're essentially doing what would be a normal lying nerve glide, but you're doing it in a seated position. 10 to 15 times. Don't bring it into the point of pain just before you kiss the pain and relax. Let's move on to the rest. Now, there's some active things that you can do seated uh, whilst on the plane, but I'm going to move on to another few things you can actually do whilst moving around the plane. And number one is going to be drinking water. It's a good idea to keep hydrated. Drinking regular water it keeps your tissues hydrated, easy to move, easy to stretch. Uh, you can try a distraction technique. Watching a movie on the plane will take your mind off the sciatic and nerve pain. So it's very, very useful to get some embroiled in a good movie. And you can use the, what's called distraction technique. Stretching. There's me at the back of the bulkhead of the plane there. Doing a calf stretch. Trying to release the muscles that can be tight compress the nerve, so I'm doing the calf stretches first, left and right leg. You're not holding for roughly 30 seconds each side, each stretch. Then I'm gonna move on to a standing quad stretch there. As we're sitting, of course, hip flexors get tight, muscles get tight. Uh, we want to try to limber up as much as possible. And again, I'm at the back of the plane, there's a good area, good space there. I've got plenty of room, I'm not disturbing anybody. So you can stretch quite happily in that area. Going to move on now to a kind of glute, which will piriformis stretch. When we're seated, we tend to compress the nerve, it gets squashed, and the nerve itself can sometimes go under the piriformis muscle, through that muscle, over it. Uh, it just depends on the individual. I'm stretching out my glutes and my piriformis to try to release that tension from sitting, and that will try to relieve some of that sciatica nerve pain. Now, Moving on from the glute stretch, you can also try what's called the McKenzie lean. And that's going to pop up here. Now, the sciatica in this particular uh, video here, the sciatica is on my right side. Okay, so you want the side your pain is on away from the side of the wall, lean up against the wall, and maybe six, 10 inches off the wall, my feet there. And I'm basically pushing my hips in towards the wall. And the last rep, I lean back and hold for about five to 10 seconds. 10 reps on that side where you've got the pain running down. Walking, super important. Keep moving in the plane, up and down the aisle, make a little circuit out of it. it keeps the blood flow going. It's gonna help you a lot whilst on that plane, okay? So guys, there is eight useful tips that you can use whilst doing a long haul flight if you are suffering from sciatic and nerve pain. I hope it's been useful for you guys. If you've got any questions, comments at all, please hit me up in the comment section down below. You want to like and share it, of course, I'd really appreciate it. The algorithm will be working good for me if you can do that for me. And of course, if you've got any questions, you know, about your own back pain issues, you want to reach out to me, you can drop me an email. It's in the description down there. You can even sign up for a free advice call as well. It's all down there in the description. All right, guys, once again, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.